Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do a weekly tip and trick video and on this one it's actually gonna be something a little bit more unique, a little bit more uh, uh, something you don't see every day, but it is something just to kind of get an idea on and also to uh, have a little fun with. So a uh, customer gave us, uh, it's actually a skull and a lot of people were like, oh well I dip skulls all the time. And that's true, but customer was like, you know what? Do whatever you want. I just want it looking awesome. So what we've got here is we have our oil slick pattern that we're going to be doing and um, I think the customer is really going to like it. It's a lot more unique. Um, it's, it's very flashy. It's very bright, colorful and um, I think it's going to look really good. And so for the skull wise, uh, it's not every day you actually get to dip a ram skull like this. Uh, pretty cool. Um, what we've got here is, is we have already taped up all of the the horns and everything so that way thankfully with the way that the ram is uh, actually built uh, it goes backwards unlike a deer skull where it comes up and sometimes actually comes over with the top of the brow tines and things like that or the eye guards and all that so um, on this one it's actually going to be pretty straightforward so Actually, what we're going to do here is we're just going to lay this out like this right here and this right here is going to be more than enough because essentially once we get up to about this point in the dip, we're just going to stop because we don't need to go anymore. And so what we're going to do here is, is this right here, um, we're going to cut this off right here. It's going to be a little bit more than what we need, but it's still going to be, uh, it's going to wrap all the way around and that's essentially what we want. So we're going to go ahead and cut this right here and then of course we've got our white base coat on it to of course make sure that it shows up the best whenever we are actually dipping it and so let's go ahead we'll check yep looks like everything looks good on the tank and we'll go ahead pick this up and get this in the water all right so again on this one we're just going to lay it down corner right here to corner and then we're just going to lay it out just like that and so then we'll start to pull our dividers in and again we're going to have about 30 seconds on the uh, I'm sorry 60 seconds on the water and now you can see that it's starting to expand just a little bit so I'm going to pull my dividers out just for a little bit here to allow, allow it to expand and then it's going to actually come back in. So now that it has already expanded, it's slowly shrinking back together. So essentially we're just going to take this and we're just going to move that down to a corner like so and drop our dividers in here so then that way everything stays as tight as possible. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab some gloves on. I got about 15 seconds left and we'll get to spraying. All right, so 60 seconds on the water. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 81 degrees, so anywhere between 80 to 90, and you're perfectly good. So again, one pass with the activator all the way up, and of course, liquid concept activator. So. All right. So, everything looks good, everything looks glassed out, really nice. And so now, we're just going to start right there, right at the very tip of it, and then just slowly go down into the water, just like this. And then that pattern will slowly feed into all the eye sockets, all the way around the head and everything like that. And then, once we have that, now we'll take and move that around, move some of that excess off. Turn this around here so that way y'all can see it. And there you go. That is a ram skull and the oil slick pattern. So definitely colorful, definitely something to uh, talk about for sure. Uh, I think the customer is definitely going to love it. Um, it is. Uh, very very unique and especially whenever we get all of the 
uh, tape off the horns. You're going to have the actual real horns that will be shown as well as all of this pattern right here. It's definitely going to look one of a kind. So we're going to go ahead, get this in the water, uh, get this in the rinse station, get it rinsed off, get it clear coated, and show you guys the final product. So stay tuned. All right, so we've got everything already dipped. We got it all clear coated. Everything came out really good. I think the customer's really going to be happy with it. And so what we went, what we ended up doing was we actually dipped the skull twice. And so what we did was is we went back and we dipped it the second time back down into here just to kind of get a little bit more coverage around in this area and around in the back right in here just because we felt like it was a little light. Um, you're probably never going to see it because if the skull's hanging like this or something like that, then of course you're never going to see the back, but it's something that we went ahead and did just in case, just so that uh, all the way around everything is completely covered. And then also what we did was, is you can actually see in here, we came back with like a little uh, darker purple and some blue and airbrushed in in all of these areas right in here. And also we hit a little bit up inside here as well as we hit down in here just to kind of give it a, uh, a little bit more um, the same look that it already has. Now again, with a look like this, you have tons of different colors to choose from. So you pretty much just have to choose one color or a couple of colors and kind of blend them back in because inevitably it looks a lot better with it having a couple of different colors in there than having a white area that it just doesn't have any white in the pattern so it doesn't really go with it. So that's why we opted to go ahead and airbrush in those areas, those eye sockets underneath. Uh, the skull and things like that. So then that way it makes it to where it looks a lot better and you also have a better um, finish overall whenever you give it to the customer. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to all of our weekly tips and tricks. And uh, if you like the video, definitely give us a thumbs up. We'd love to have uh, any of the questions or comments that you've got down here in the description below. And uh, anything that you see here as far as film or materials, we'll also have in the description. So then that way you can see what we use, how we use it, and hopefully how to better yourself in the hydrographics area. So I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and we're making hydrographics great again. We'll see you guys next time.